Well, hello, hello. Well, it's still quite cold and windy, but uh, we have one of the four musketeers, not to be confused with the five spotted musketeers. So it is, I'm not sure which one, but one of uh, the four musketeers. Now, uh, their names are Siko, Hunter, Morani, and of course, Scarface. Now, there is another one, but he's lying in the thickets behind. We can't, unfortunately, can't get any closer from where we are uh, presently. But isn't that wonderful? It is always great to spend some time with them and just check in and see how they're doing. And they are looking quite well. Now, they have been in a bit of a, bit, a few fights recently. And uh, I think there are some new males starting to put some pressure on the musketeer coalition they do hold one of the best territories in the mara so it is a sought after territory if you're a male lion and of course there is the prize of the paradise pride and all those lovely ladies to mate with and he's on top there you can get a good view. Looking around. Now, I have heard some zebras calling to each other uh, down towards the, the crossing. So they might be getting ready to cross. There was some distressed calling. And that's always a, a good sign when you are looking for a crossing. He keeps looking down into the, the bushes behind, and I think that's where the other male is. Hi, Lynn. Lynn says he's got a really pretty mane. Uh, indeed, he does, Lynn. Uh, these boys have very spectacular manes, and uh, they are quite old, uh, probably 12, 13 years old, so... They're not going to be up at the top for too much longer. They used to be further to the north where they got pushed out. And uh, so it does happen. And it can be quite sad when these big male coalitions uh, come to the end of their, their tenure. But that is how the genetics in lions uh, keeps the population healthy. We can only hope they survive for as long. And, of course, they do have the legacy of their cubs uh, that will continue on. And these boys have sired quite a lot of cubs in the Mara. Josh is wondering, do I think he would roar at this time of the day? Uh, Josh, there's always a, a good possibility, um, but I think most of the roaring for today has already been done earlier on. At the moment, he's looking very, very relaxed, and of course, he knows where his other coalition member is, so there's probably no need to roar right now. Is that the other line there to the left? Um, go out a bit, Dave. Just there. What's that there? Is that just a rock? There. Uh, is it a rock or a log? It's a log. And he must be somewhere hidden in the thickets there. Well, we're going to leave him to snooze on top of that uh, mound of sand. And I'm going to head down towards the river crossings and see if we get any action in that area.